We're here um, with Nathan Cleverly, um, just over a week to your uh, return in the ring um, at a new weight level. Uh, how, how have preparations been going for this bout? Preparation has been good. Um, overall, it's been quite a long, a long training camp really, because I've been, I've been kicking over for a long time now, bit by bit, building into the cruiserweight division, mm-hmm. not rushing anything, um, steadily putting on the weight. Uh, the weight is good. I feel good. Um, so we're just looking forward now to executing it on fight night. Definitely. And uh, you are, of course, going up uh, two crews away. H- how are you feeling at that weight? Are you feeling a lot? Uh, you're making the weight easy and uh, making it easier than you were at the light heavyweight. Yeah, I'm enjoying the new weight. I, I really am. It's, um, it's 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 good to to be happy with your weight and walking round at this weight and. <laughs> And not only that, just the feeling of, of of performing at this weight in the gym, I feel more energized and more snap. Mentally, I feel more focused. So I think overall, it's it's going to have a big impact on me. And it's just a matter now of of delivering and 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 and, and making sure that's the case on on fight night in the actual fight. Definitely, and of course, um, this bout, uh, the, the name of the card is the second coming. Um, after your last bout at the light heavyweight, you, you of course lost that. Um, after that bout, what were some of the thoughts going through your mind? Were you thinking of packing it in? Yeah, I think initially, yeah, I, I think so. I just wanted a break, mm-hmm. you know, a break from boxing. I had a long training camp for that fight. I was I was on the weight quite a long time. Um, felt a little bit drained. Mentally as well, not only physically but mentally. Um, I just needed a break, I think. And uh, the first loss, obviously, taking that is a big dent. And I just wanted to get away from box for a bit, and you know, and and, and just live a bit and and just see what I really wanted. And and the time came, you know, I was waiting for that day where I wanted to to give this another crack and. Uh, here I am. I'm hungry again, and I'm ready to go. Definitely. And your opponent is uh, Sean uh, Corbin. How, how much do you know about Sean? Very little, really. But I've seen a few a few clips of him. Um, decent record. He's a quite a big guy. He seems in shape. Um, seems new to the cruiserweight division. Mm-hmm. Looks like he can bang with the right hand. So just just got to be on my guard. You know. I think he's physically strong, um, so just no, no silly, silly antics, no rushing him, nothing reckless. Just um, treat the guy with respect and treat the new cruiserweight division with respect, you know, because we're talking and, and dealing with big guys now. So you know, these guys are going to be able to bang, you know, be able to hit hard. Mm-hmm. So it's just a matter of having respect and uh, just bit by bit doing my thing and, uh, and breaking this guy up. Oh, definitely. And not only is it a new um, weight division you're moving up to, but you've also moved uh, promotions. Uh, you were with Frank Warren, you're now with Matchroom. How, how did all that come about? Um, basically, you know, there was, there was two offers on the table for me. Um, and it was, it was just a matter of, 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 of choosing choosing which direction I, I wanted to take. Mm-hmm. So you know, I felt the best opportunity for me was with with Sky and, and getting good exposure. Mm-hmm. Um and and just um you know, just the, the fact that Eddie Eddie had, had, had given me had, had given me a direction, you know, he penciled mm-hmm. out a few fights for me, uh, a schedule. So that, that that was nice as well. It was it was nice to have that. And I know I know where I'm heading now. No, definitely. And one one of the things that Eddie um, seems to want, and he's talked about it for the last uh, couple of months, is he wants those uh, big. Uh, British domestic fights and of course um, at light heavyweight you fought Tony Bellew who's also moved up to cruiserweight is that a fight that we could possibly see again uh, later on this year perhaps early next year at some point yeah I think so I think so I think it's, it's, it's fairly inevitable um, provided I win my next couple mm-hmm. if he wins his next one or two then um, yeah no reason why not you know it's a domestic grudge match the fight fans seem to love those fights mm-hmm. um yeah, so uh, I think we'll definitely get it on sometime. 
Yeah, definitely. And I mean, Tony, uh, of course, has already had one uh, Matt had one fight at the cruiserweight. What did you make of that? If you watched it, and I mean, he was calling you out then after the fight. What, what did you make of all of that? Yeah, it was um, decent performance. You know, strong. Took his out. Look, look. You know. Because he's hitting hard, so he done what he had to do, uh, and obviously a bit of uh, exchange of words at the end in the interview, um, referring to me. That's um, that's fine by me, you know. That's that, that's just fuel, fuel, mm-hmm. and 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 it adds to the rivalry, um, which is which is what we got, and uh, potentially makes for a a little barnstorm of a fight. Definitely. And uh, I'm sure you don't want to look past um, the 17th of May against Sean Corbin, but uh, what more can we expect from you for the rest of 2014 headed into 2015? A little bit more consistency now, um, regular action, um, fighting uh, uh, more regular. And I'm I, I just looking to, to, bring, to bring that excitement back and um, give my old self a lot of energy a lot of fire and uh, just bring it into this new weight division. Yeah, definitely. And it should be a cracking night in Cardiff and a, a bit of a celebrating uh, night as well because not only are you on the bill but Gavin Reese and he's announced uh, earlier today that that will be his final bout in Cardiff that night. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent bill. You know, we're shaping up nice. Um, uh, guys on the on the fight card are involved in um, some tasty fights. Obviously, Gavin and, and, and Gary Buckland. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's a tasty fight. You know, the first one was good. The second one is is expected to be as good. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, my return to cruiserweight is the question mark there. How am, how how am I going to perform at uh, in, in the new weight division? And obviously. Selby, you know, who's looking good at, at, at this moment in time. He's um, he's on a, a good string of wins and got good momentum. And there's obviously Chrissy Jenkins on the end of the card. Mm-hmm. Pretty good prospect coming through as well. No, definitely. Um, that's all the questions I've got for you, Nathan. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a real okay, uh, pleasure speaking to yourself. Okay, mate. No, no worries. Problem. And uh, best of luck with Fight Week and on uh, Fight Night itself as well. Cheers, buddy.